morning, West Michigan. Boy, we are waking up to some soggy conditions out there this morning. A couple of live shots for you. This is a look out over US 131 through the heart of downtown Grand Rapids. And this, well, this is the view from uh, our uh, rooftop out over our parking lot and you can just kind of see how soggy it is to kick off this uh, Wednesday. So a wet Wednesday morning will be drying out this afternoon. So we do return to sunshine by the end of the day. We've got a low pressure center that's going to track right overhead and as it does our winds are going to switch around to the northwest and usher in some drier air. So that will help to scour out the rain and uh, bring us a return to sunshine to finish the day. Currently look at this wide range of temperatures. 46 degrees in Lettington, 49 Muskegon, 59 in Coldwater, 61 degrees in Battle Creek, 61 also in Lansing, 49 in Grand Rapids, 55 in Kalamazoo. We topped out at 67 degrees yesterday in Grand Rapids, a few degrees uh, below that 70 degree mark that we were hoping for. 71 was the official high in Kalamazoo. We actually do have some milder weather returning as we head into Tuesday and Wednesday of next week, so the beginning of November will actually bring us a return to uh, some relatively mild weather. Overall, here is a look at the setup in the atmosphere this morning. We've got that northwesterly wind that's beginning to take over, so that explains that drop in temperatures uh, along the lakeshore and areas uh, off to the west, uh, northwest of Grand Rapids, and still that southerly wind, so a low pressure center is going to be tracking right overhead today, and as it does, it will be bringing us that breezy, cooler air as we head through the afternoon. So widespread rain showers this morning. We've got plenty of sunshine ahead with frost mornings, afternoon conditions climbing into the 50s to finish the day, low 60s on Saturday. Here's a look at the setup in the atmosphere and as that low pressure center tracks off to the east, you can see 1, 2, 3, 4 o'clock this afternoon, just how quickly we were, do return to high pressure in control and a return to a good bit of sunshine. Clear skies overnight tonight and calm winds, that will bring us a return to the frosty conditions early tomorrow early Friday and early Saturday, but a pretty nice recovery will come into play. A few showers may linger then, or may return later Sunday into Monday. We're going the, opti the pessimistic route here for trick-or-treating, but look at that. Next week, the temperature is climbing back well into the 60s. So, Tom, any issues developing this morning for drivers? We do have a crash right now, and that's coming into us at Burton and Buchanan. So far, not causing significant slowdowns in any direction there. But it just might be an indication of the direction we are heading this morning with that rain coming down, ponding on area of roadways. So uh, hydroplaning, definitely a possibility, especially on area freeway. So use caution this morning and maybe give yourself a few extra minutes to get to your destination on time. A uh, continued reminder that we are working with a lane closure along eastbound I-196 at Butterworth. It's a small section, uh, but that caused massive problems heading into downtown Grand Rapids yesterday and significant delays. So that is going to be in place through at least four o'clock in the afternoon tomorrow. So uh, heads up and watch for that again. Uh, obviously, we're working with wet roads. Everywhere you see this neon green means uh, it's going to be a wet commute for you. I'll have another update for you coming up in about 15 minutes.